Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be creating tables in AppStrator Titanium. Now if I go to my test project you can see that I've created or played around with uh, tables in your uh, iPhone development or Android. And you've got a simple row, you've got a row with a child, basically that means that if you do some extra coding, which we are going to do in this video, if we click over here it's going to go to a new window to display some information. Uh, same goes for this details and check means that it's checked and we can actually change the property of our, our row or one of them so that it's a red background and stuff however what we're going to focus on is this child today so let me or close my simulator and I've got a fresh new app.js to write on now let's start creating a tab group equals tie.ui.create a uh, tab group yep and let's create a window so we are going to create two windows although we are going to be mostly or we are going to be using one of them a window what I'm writing now is basically exactly the same as uh, in my previous video where I did the tab and tab group uh, what do you say a tutorial so you can like if you have it already you can just use that once I finish writing it but I was stupid enough to actually like delete all that so I need to create uh, two windows win2 equals tie.ui dot create window let me quickly do that and title equals window2 and background color is blue I think it was blue that's what I set Windows 2 to be all the time. And let's create a tab. Tab1 equals tie.ui.create tab. And inside that, we are going to have a couple of options. Let's set the icon because I have OCD, I think. I don't know if this is even OCD, but it doesn't really matter. Basically, I want it to be kind of perfect and look nice. So I'm going to add a title and icon and everything. And window is going to be win one, like so. And let's create tab two equals tie uh, dot u i dot create tab. And it, oops, not pass whatever. Inside here, we are going to write again icon h s k s underscore nav underscore u i dot p n g. Title is going to be tab two, and window is going to be win two. Now, let's go over here, get some space, and tab group dot add tab. We're going to add a tab, tab one, and we are going to add tab, tab two, and uh, we need to open a tab like so. There we go. That's our basic layout done. And what we're going to do is start adding views and uh, tables and stuff. So below our, where should we put it? I think below our win one, above our win two over here, let's have some big space so that we know where we are over here. Let's create our list of data. So variable data equals, and inside here, let's create, what should we do a table on? We could do it on like, I don't know, the car we own or something. Let's assume that I own two cars. Uh, car one is my name of my first car and has child equals uh, is true. That means that if I click on it, it goes to a new window with more information and stuff. And the destination, because I want to put the information of this uh, car one into a separate JavaScript file, I'm going to uh, set a destination to it and call it car underscore one dot js and we are going to be creating that next. Let's quickly uh, add another one, so car2 has child is true again and a destin, oops I think I screwed up something, oh it's supposed to be there and destination is car underscore two dot js. Um, anything else? Nope. Just make sure you have the semicolon. 
and let's quickly add a table to it var table equals tie.ui.create a table view table it helps if I spell it right and inside that we are going to have a one option we are going to set the data to the data don't worry about this uh, just follow along and you'll see why and what we need to do now is actually add uh, let's I don't know should we create the, the car underscore one js and the two or should no let's just quickly create uh, a view we need to create that our view equals tie.ui.create view because we haven't done that yet have we and inside that no there's nothing going to be inside that we never put anything inside our view but underneath that we are going to add this uh, table to the view like so and we are going to add the view to win one like so and let's put back the spaces and inside here we are going to add an event listener to our table but before that let's create our car underscore one dot js and car underscore two dot js so we are going to create a new file car underscore one dot js and a new file again say car underscore two dot js and let's go to car underscore one dot js and let's see we need to create a view and the label and inside the label we need to have some information in it so that uh, to be displayed so let's say var view underscore car underscore one equals uh, tie dot ui dot create a view and let's create a label underscore car underscore one and that's going to equal tie dot ui dot create label label yep label uh, I could set the color of a uh, text but I'm go not going to bother with that now and let's set the text itself to car one and the height could be I don't know the usual 35 the width uh, about 150 and let's say it's about I don't know a fourth fourth from the top about 120 480 divided by 4 is 120 yes that's it and let's add our label into a view so view underscore car underscore one dot add label underscore car underscore one yep and what we need to do is add our view into our window so what we're going to do is that clever tie.ui dot uh, current window thing we looked at it in my video a while back create an uh, no, create tie.ui dot current not tab window dot add and it's going to be view underscore car underscore one hopefully I haven't screwed up anything and I'm going to copy this and add it into car underscore two dot js and change all the one to two so that's going to be two that's going to be two that's going to be two and that's going to be two yep so th we're done with car underscore one and car underscore two now over here we are going to be creating an event listener to our table so that when we click on either of the table rows it's going to display data okay so table dot add event listener and the usual uh, click and the callback function is going to be function e and inside that we are going to have a couple of options now what we need oops that's orange but that's not and that's because I didn't write true properly now uh, because this is has child is true for both of them that means that if you click on it it goes to that uh, information thing on the new window and what we need to do is basically create an if statement to check and make sure that this has child is set to true so let's create an if statement saying if dot e is the callback function and we are going to have the raw data property dot uh, has child so has it got a child and if it checks whether the uh, has child is equals to true on this and if it is true we are going to create a new window inside of here to display the information so var new win equals tie.ui.create window 
and inside that again we are going to have some options uh, the URL is going to be the destination of our data so it's going to be e.rowdata.dest it's exactly like this e.rowdata that has a child it just returns uh, the value we've declared into that property uh, destination and also we want to set the title now because this uh, function is going to be for both car 1 and car 2 we don't want to set it to be like car 1 or something what we want to do is use this e.rowdata and instead of a uh, destination we are going to say e.rowdata.title because we've already declared the title over here so we could use that and let's just set the background color back ground color uh, to, I don't know, white by default, why not? There we go, and within our uh, if statement, let's open tab1.open and it's going to open our new window, new win, yep, like so. Let me check if I've done anything else. Uh, yep hopefully this is going to be fine let's run our simulator this was i think this is the longest code i've written in this video series if i include both these two as well it's quite long it's about how long is it 50 60 it's about 75. okay sorry guys i had to cut the video because once our once the simulator was loaded basically it was full of errors and i tried looking for the error i found one and then i loaded the uh, or i loaded the simulator again and it came up with another error and i realized that i had to stop the video cut it so that i don't waste like five minutes of your time for uh, with me looking at me trying to fix errors and basically all my errors was like uh this current window. I forgot the W for both car underscore one and car underscore two and this has child H was actually in capitals which is why there was no arrow on the car two initially when I loaded it up although you don't see it because I cut it okay now that uh, I've cleared out all my uh, typos I write a bit fast and my accuracy is quite low when it comes to typing so I get loads of errors when I'm typing and I think it's something to do with the program but then I realized that I made like a stupid typing error okay so now you see a tabbed application with window 1 and window 2 we don't need to worry about this and inside here we have two tables car 1 and car 2 and we have this arrow sign which means that it has a child and when I click on it it creates a new window called car1 yes the title stated over here which got extracted using e.rowdata.title and we have this car1 which is a label we uh, created in our separate javascript folder and if you go to car2 there we go it says car2 and it says car2 and we could also it also says uh, back to window 1 this is the title of your uh, default window over here which in has the table inside and it's quite cool that uh, and it's quite cool and nice that they have the, your uh, title listed inside here so there we go that's your well that's one of the ways you can create a table in titanium and uh, we could like change the color of it and customize it really a lot. I've showed you at the beginning over here. There we go. We have simple O with child. I haven't done any, uh, what do you call it, event listener in here. So it's not going to do anything. But there's also this and there's also checking. And you can create like a to do app. Uh, basically, you can do a lot of things with uh, tables. So this was. Uh, quick video, not quick, this was like a 20, 12 minute video yeah I think it's like a 12 minute video, 12, 13 minute video sorry it's a, a bit long uh, but yeah this was a video on tables in titanium